Hello everybody, it's Stefan Jubert here and in today's video we're going to take a look at Pat Martino's Line Study or Activity 4. I'm going to use the key of E because it's just easy for us, for me to play and for you to hear it. And we're just going to start with the Activity 4 of Pat Martino. Before we do that, where is the, where is the fourth position located on the guitar in the key of E? The answer to that is strings 3 and 5, meaning the root note lies on the 1, 2, 3 on the G string, 4, 5, the A string. So on the G string, 3rd string, ninth fret I've got an E, and on the 7th fret of the 5th string. So position 4, I call it string group, or SG for string group 3, 5. And that is the area of position 4. And I'll play the Pat Martino Activity 4 for you now, so you can hear it. That's the Pat Martino Activity 4, the area where the notes fall between the root note on strings 3 and 5, and this is the key of E. Pat Martino uses the Dorian as well as the melodic minor scale. So the Dorian would be... that sixth characteristic note as well as the melodic minor scale this is in the key of E minor ways to play that. You can do that as well. You can go up here or you can go and play four notes on the fifth string. And you've got these cool one, three, four, one, three, four there. And the sound is that sort of sound for the minor major seventh. Now let's take a look at a few Pat Martino lines that we can use. So the Pat Martino method, you can superimpose it over many chord changes. So for example, the E minor one or the E minor Pat Martino lines can be played on E minor, but it can just as well be also played, for example, um, on G major. So if you've got a G major seventh, you just go one, two, three, three semitones back and you find the sixth degree and you can then play the line on that. So Pat Martino's whole system is a system where you can take lines from the minor and superimpose it everywhere else. So let's just take a look at how some of these lines sound just over E minor. So I'll just play a few of them. Here's one. Here's another one. Another one and another one and another one and basically these lines are cool because they are melodic minor Dorian mixtures with things like you know this kind of descending chromatic thirds which just works wonders on the guitar So Pat Martino uses some chromatic effects inside of his playing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play an E major. Um, I'm going to play an E major sound. I'm playing a seventh, a fifth, a ninth, a thirteenth, and a third. That's a fragment tooth voicing for piano players. Or I can play it like that. And now. I'm no longer going to play E minor, but I will play C sharp minor lines on the E major. So that's on the sixth degree. And I can give you another one. Or another one. Or 
another one. Or another one. That was utilizing position four of C sharp because I've superimposed the C sharp minor over the E major. Now let me give you another example. Let's say we have got E dominant seventh or E dominant ninth, E dominant thirteenth. Then I would go for the fifth degree of E, which is the B. I've got string group three, five. These, these are two Bs. And I can play the um, Pat Martino's there. And it just works wonders on that as well. Um, and we can do another one. of the Pat Martino lines. I'm playing an E dominant 13th chord and that it's really outlining that dominant 13th without even trying. It just minor 7th flat and 5th. For the E minor 7 flat 5, I'm going to play the same lines but in G. So here's the 3-5 of G. Um, now we're superimposing the G minor lines over the E minor 7 flat 5 because the rule for the minor 7 flat 5 is you find the minor 3rd and you superimpose on that. So then I can play tension flat 13 at the end. Or I can do another one. Sometimes you might need to resolve some of them. Or another one. So that a two, five, one, go to a major seven. Um, so what I want to leave you with is just the idea that Pat Martino's lines are very, very special. We've just done activity four there. Look in the description below just to see how those things work. It's also one of those things with Pat Martino. It's not something that you're going to get great at without studying. So if you want someone to guide you on that, I'm always available. You can contact me and we can set up a first appointment. I offer online lessons on Zoom and I can show you the Pat Martino method and help you really improve your guitar playing as well. Uh, my lessons are online so wherever you are in the world you're most welcome to learn with me. I usually set up a first initial consultation where we get to meet each other and then I can take things forward with you. So yeah, the Pat Martino lines are very flexible. So try, if you look at the description below as well, there's the link to his book. So get that book, just get started on the lines and I think it will give you a lot of material to work on. So thank you as always for listening. Please leave a thumbs up, please like, please show some support for the channel, share it with a friend, um, subscribe, and uh, I'd like to speak with you again on the next video and we'll take things forward. Um, and, 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 and next time we'll also go to activity five of Pat Martino. There's some other videos that you can watch that I've made on the Pat Martino lines as well. If you put them together, I think things will make a bit more sense because some of these things are a little on the complex side and you need some guidance on it. So thank you once again, wishing you a great day, evening and morning wherever you are in the world and we'll speak again in the next video. Goodbye.